Oh my god! <laughs> That's insanity! Rock number one of the day. This rock is freezing cold. Thank God it is not hot out right now. Oh my gosh. It is uh, July, but it is in the 50s this morning and there's dew on the plants. I'm super excited about that because it has been a grind lately. If you watched our last video, I mean, I can't tell you how many days I went out to try and film to make that happen. And uh, cold weather like this is especially good in my opinion for finding green snakes under rocks. So we're gonna flip a couple rocks this morning and see what we can find. All right, rock number two. That was very good looking. I don't see anything under there. All right, this is my favorite rock at this place. What? Oh, ring neck. Something. I like the way that guy's sitting. And check out his belly. Nice, he's cold. All right, I'm gonna put the rock back and then I'm gonna put him back. He's really cold. Guys, check this out. Look at this. I haven't even touched this rock, but it's landed on top of a gravid red-bellied snake and a garter snake. And I mean, let's see what's under here. Yeah, man, it didn't even eat them. That's crazy. So I guess a bear flipped this rock relatively recently and uh, has left these two gravid snakes to die. That's really obnoxious. I guess that's nature, but what the hell? I hate that. One of the first times I came to this spot, I thought, oh man, someone else knows this spot and they don't know how to put the rocks back. And then I realized it's just bears. There's so many freaking bears in this area and they do this. And as you can see, sometimes they kill snakes when they're doing it. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, look, there's a smashed uh, tiger beetle under that one. All right, so the bears won that one at that site in particular. So we're gonna check another field. Man, uh, it's nature, but it's annoying. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I flipped this rock and I think that stick right there popped up and it ended up turning this green snake upside down. That's my first in this little section right here. All right, well, that's my first green snake from this little area in particular. I flipped like 10 rocks in a row, and of course, under the one that I'm not filming, there's something under it. Uh, I started not filming because I wasn't seeing anything, and then this guy popped up, so I'm glad that the bears didn't get me down too bad. Still came away with the main target, which is a beautiful smooth green snake, and kind of funny, yeah, I flipped and saw the white belly, and for a second I was like, what the heck is that? And I realized it was just an upside down green snake. It's awesome. He's flicking his tongue in slow motion. He's freezing cold. All right, well, I am going to take a quick picture of him and then we're gonna put him back. All right, well, this snake has warmed up quite a lot just from handling him. I'm gonna put him right back under, though he might not wanna go under given how cold that rock is. Oh, look at that, two ring necks chilling out side by side. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. Both appear to be in shed. All right, I'm just going to put them right here for a minute and get the rock back down. And then yeah, if they want to go back under, they can. Guys, like, look at this. That's where that rock was. It's all the way over here. And, uh, of course, it has nothing under it. Oh, yep, yeah, this one's just left standing up straight. This one's right here. The other thing working against me here is the vegetation is so high that it's hard to find a lot of these little rocks that the green snakes really like, so. Oh, garter, that's kind of cool. I'm nice and coiled up like that. I'm actually just gonna kind of leave him how he is. I think I can 
put this down gently enough. So the bears are forcing me to break out of my usual routine here and explore a little bit. So I'm going to flip some new rocks in new little spots that I've always looked at but never stopped at. And, uh, you know, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe we stumble across something really cool. Check this out. This is pretty cool. An old bottle. I don't know if this is like an old milk jug or something. It's pretty cool though. I know some of you guys are really into this sort of stuff. I don't see anything on it. That's neat. It's a very rough looking uh, ringneck snake back here. Not so rough looking from the bottom. It looks like he's got some sort of injury on him. Or stuck shed or something right there. Hmm. Maybe he's had a run in with the bear. I don't know. All right, guys, the bears won this morning, but that's okay because we're going to be flipping some cover that I haven't flipped in a while, and uh, I think we should see some snakes. <laughs> this one looks like a burnt down. It actually might not be that much older than all the others. It looks older, but maybe someone just lit on fire. That's a good one. Shrew. Shrew. All right, let's crack the seal on this bad boy. So, oh, oh yeah, Money snake shot. number one. You want um, it? not really. You have to move him to open up the <laughs> Might just be able to like here. Just make sure we don't pinch him. There's a lot of sheds under there. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's not in there. Yeah. Look at all this poison ivy. <laughs> it's like a flourishing here. Just careful. Let's go. Oh, nice moisture. And there's a garter back there. We'll move this guy. All right. Bottom layer. Bottom layer is not producing. Bottom layer is just not it right now. Hmm. Who's home? Absolutely. No one. Oh! Who we got? What is that little thing? A shrew. Dude, grab it. Can I grab it? Oh, he's trying to get under so badly. Boop, boop. He touched poison ivy in the process, too. Whatever. Careful, just don't step on him. Oh, big milk. Oh. Want me to grab him? Yeah, grab him. Here, we'll pull that out of the way. Oh, no, no, no. That is so random. No! Oh. No, no, no! Okay, hang on. <laughs> this time of year, the, uh, the vegetation is a little high, but secured the bag. One milk snake. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Dang. Oh, my Ooh. God! Dude! Dude! <laughs> Holy cow! Did you get all three? I think. <laughs> Dude, look at this one's like. Oh my God. I've gotten this big orange one before. Look at this little light orange one though. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's insanity. All right, so I've got my cousin here holding all these snakes. Uh, man, I, I feel bad because usually I'm a lot less uh, jerky with the handling of the snakes but it's like it's just too much but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get you guys a good look at this and uh, these are just some boards I laid out once upon a time uh, some of these are recaps this one I've seen before this gigantic one uh, and one of these gray ones is a, a recap not this one but the other one that looks kind of like it and then the coolest one in my opinion <laughs> Is He's slipping out by the uh -oh. way. Oh, 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 is this little one. This is just absurdity. But man, I really like this light colored one. Yeah, look at how light colored that is. This one's really cool. I was not expecting that craziness. But yeah, this spot just gets better and better over the years. We should go and make sure we didn't miss a board because yeah, sure. this spot's so good. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, they're biting oh, each oh, other. Don't bite each other. Break it up, break it up. Ah, ah, he's got my finger now. Gosh. All right, 
relax, gentlemen. <laughs> Break it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Now this one is the biggest one. This one actually is a recapture. I've seen this one before. It's kind of reddish brown, and it is an absolute monster. Super big and thick, and then, uh, yeah, we've got these back here. I'll try to show each one of them real quick, potentially. Or honestly, maybe not, because, I mean, they're all kind of That's similar. That's the troublemaker right there. Don't put yeah. him near. He's going to cause problems. Yeah. I've seen this one before with that weird collar, and he's got a white belly. Um, and then this one's also no, new. No. The only reason that I knew it was new was because the back of the head looks like that. And then I really like this little orange one. It's awesome. All right, guys, here's a good depiction of the variability. We've got this big, we're calling him Big Red. He's honestly not that red. I really like this, like, really orangey, light brown one. I mean, dude, look at that. That's insanity. Pretty typical, typical, kind of on the redder side. He's I like Nice him. and caramel colored. All right, we got to let these things go. But, man, this thing almost looks like hypomelanistic. You know what, if we let all the others go, I might take a quick picture of this guy because he's being super cooperative. Well, I'm gonna put these away. Yeah, we can put these other ones back. <laughs> Alright, we're letting number one go. He's gonna go right under. Sally's. Big red, baby. My fault. Did I ruin your content? Maybe. You're home. I was right in. Give a little tickle on the tail, just so it's not, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that was absolutely nuts. I'm having some sort of like allergy attack right now from like rolling around in the dust and grass. Uh, and I don't really have bad allergies, but man, my throat is so scratchy right now. Whoa. Unlimited garters. Yeah. I'm not putting my yeah. hands in that. Either. Yeah, here, just try to give that guy a poke so he goes out the back. You know, squish him. Ooh, garters. You want him? Not really. It's not worth the poop. And the bite. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, he's under you. What you got there? I don't know. It's like a hairy deuce. You're going to have to taste it. All right, we're going in there, which is uh, not going to be fun. This spot is so over. <laughs> You're gonna have to kick a lot of stuff off of it. That one's always been, it's long, it's like. <laughs> we just got pulled up on, by the way. Oh, racer. an old sign and big garter. That's a nice looking garter. I'm gonna put, nah, I'm gonna put the sign back down. He looks healthy. All right, guys, I'm wrapping things up. As you can see, it's dark now. We flipped right to darkness. And I mean, if we could have kept going, I'm sure we would have seen some more milks, but pretty crazy that one spot just had the milks today. I mean, one board had one and then three under one board. I was completely caught off guard, but really exciting. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.